How's it going everybody? Oh, it's a chilly one today. We got a cold snap here in late April. It's lows in the mid 30s and highs in the 50s. So it's a chilly morning this morning. It's about 35 degrees. And so that's why I'm wearing my hat and my vest. And, uh, and so I just wanted to talk about my minimalist footwear and how, what I've really kind of grown into. Um, I love wearing flip flops. I love being in warm climates to wear flip flops. I love to hike in flip flops. But how do you do that in cold weather? Obviously, it, you know, your feet are going to get freezing without shoes on. And at least that's, of course, what I thought, because that's kind of the, the theory. And so I wanted to put that, kind of figure out how I can go about it a different way. And, um, and so I was doing hikes, and um, I've been doing hikes and flip-flops and trying to do it barefoot. And that, after that video I did where I talked about hiking up in the mountains barefoot, I did the whole hike, no problem, but when I got down, my feet were so sore. The balls on my feet, oh my gosh. It was hard to walk that, that day. Uh, I put some lotion on them, cleaned them up, put some lotion on them, and then they felt better. And by the next day, they were okay, and by the second day, they were fine. So it's one of those things I just need to do incrementally, um, maybe once or twice a week, walk barefoot in the dirt, in the mountains, or whatever, hikes to build up that tolerance for my feet. I really actually did enjoy it. There were some really steep sections and I had no slippage problem barefoot, you know. It's just, I've never hiked barefoot in the mountains, so who knows, but it worked well. And for that matter, the flip-flops have worked too. So that I haven't had any slipping with flip-flops either, which really surprised me. And I, and I had a very fast pace, so that was pretty cool. So anyway, <clears throat> how can I do the flip-flops in the cold? Well, here's my answer to that. So my answer is I put socks on. And so I went to REI and I bought some of their REI uh, merino wool socks. Um, and uh, I got the lightweight ones because they seem kind of thick to me. And oh, they're so soft and cushy. They feel so good on your feet. But man, are they warm. It's, it's amazing. Um, I mean, I know you're supposed to wear merino wool to hike. And I have, a, I have a couple of old pairs that are super thin and light. And so I wanted something that might be able to keep my feet warm. And boy, do these do a great job. These are just the REI version of merino wool. And they're the lightweights. They're not heavy. They're not, they have all different kind of weights. So I just got lightweight. And down into the 30s, my feet are plenty warm. And my, the thing is, which is interesting, is my feet don't sweat because I'm wearing the socks. Um, or because, I'm, because my feet can breathe, so there's no sweat, so your feet don't get cold. It's amazing how warm my feet stay. So it's really cool. And um, I'm really enjoying doing the flip-flop thing. Hi. Just recording a video. I'm recording a video. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to give everyone a little update on that. The other, thing, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to... These flip-flops aren't lasting. These are 98-cent Walmart flip-flops. They are just going on 10-mile hikes. They're, I'm just tearing through them. Um, they're not lasting. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make some leather flip-flops and I'm going to do it myself and just get some eighth inch leather cowhide, the heavy duty stuff and make my own and see how it works out and so I'll give you updates on those. I want to make them adjustable straps so that when I'm wearing thicker socks I can tighten them or loosen them and when I'm not wearing socks I can tighten them up and so I kind of have an idea of how I'm going to make adjustable flip-flops for depending on my footwear. And hopefully the leather will last a bit, quite a bit longer. And so we'll see how that goes. And I'll keep you all up in the loop as I start to create a new pair, a new design of flip-flops for people who want to hike in them and and not wear shoes when it's cold and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, everybody, have a wonderful day. And I'm just enjoying this cooler weather. And I sleep so good. All you need is an extra sleeping bag. And kind of hard to get out of bed though, but. Uh, um, still can wear shorts. I'm done wearing pants. I was like, that's it. No more pants. At the end of April, I am not wearing pants again. 
So at the hardware store where I'm working, I can wear shorts. And so I'm not wearing pants anymore. Even if I have to wear a sweatshirt, I'm gonna look silly, but who cares? I look silly with socks and flip flops, but it feels awesome on my feet and my feet stay cozy warm. All right, bye everybody.